Welcome back, everyone, to this Giga Hub one shot uh, hosted by who else but me? Because I'm already here. Before I go, <laughs> before I go any further, let's. Uh, I'm going to talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. Of course, um, we have anything and everything that's cool. Basically, anything your uh, nerdy little heart could ever desire. Um, we do ship now. Uh, if you would like something shipped to you, unfortunately, it won't be shipped. Uh, before Christmas. It's already too late for that, but it'll still get shipped. You can go to CosmicComics.Vegas or CosmicComicsLV.com. Pick yourself up something nice or as a late gift for somebody, tell them the mail messed it up. I don't know. Make up an excuse. But we do have a lot of cool stuff for you to buy and see. Okay. I want to talk to you guys about a little known thing. You might not know about it. It's called D&D. Have you heard of it? Possibly not, but let's talk about it a little bit. For those of you unaware, D&D is, of course, a tabletop role-playing game that you play with people at a table or, you know, since things are the way they are, uh, on Discord or whatever. Not Roll20. Roll20 kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I didn't like it. Um, but the reason I bring up D&D is because I want to talk about one of my absolute favorite franchises and favorite anime of all time, which is Record of Lodos War. I've... I know I've talked about it. I probably brought it up a few times uh, since we started the show, but I never really got to sit down and talk about it. Record of Lodos War is a very interesting piece of media because it's almost like we're we've gone back to that sort of that sort of way that it was created. We're sort of doing it differently now. So, just a little bit of background on Record of Lodos War. Uh, it was uh, it's a fantasy series created by uh, Ryo, Ryo Mizuno uh, back in the eight in the uh, late eighties, which was based on a game that he was DMing at the time. Um, one of the popular things in Japan was something called a replay. Basically, you have a transcript of what happened in your game, and the transcript is printed in magazines or books or stuff like that. And people base, yeah, 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 and people keep up with your campaign. Yeah, it was good. It was cool. Right. So the replays got so popular with uh, non-players, you know, uh, players and uh, non-players. The non-players being, of course, uh, um, fans of uh, literature and fantasy and stuff like that. So much so that he took the transcripts, uh, made them into an actual book, which was then made into a manga, which was then made into the anime known as Record of Lodos War. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Now, here's where the history kind of repeats itself. Uh, the biggest thing in D&D right now is Critical Role. I'm sure some people will agree, some people will disagree, but it is, it is, it is, the, biggest it is the biggest thing, and yeah. it's done a lot for the hobby. You can't yes. take that away from them, but... Recently, uh, well, not even that recently, they uh, did a Kickstarter for, basically, uh, or, or their own series on the game that they played, yep. right? So it's pretty interesting, like, the parallels between the two. But, of course, Record of Lotus War did it first, and I, as much as I want to see the new uh, Legend of Vox Machina, I'm, I, I don't think it's going to outdo Record of Lotus War. I don't. It's just absolutely one of my favorite series. But um, yeah, so the replay got popular. The transcripts of uh, the session were so popular that they was turned into other pieces of media. And I'm not going to lie to you. This this anime is absolutely gorgeous. Like the just the art in it still holds up so well today. And the story is not all that complex. It's your average D and D story that your that your buddy would would uh, would come up with. Which you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. It's 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 different when you're actually seeing it animated and seeing the characters and stuff. Um, but it's just the the sort of the the uh, the history of it is very interesting. But yeah, it is based on the a D and D game and a sword and a, another RPG called Sword World, which is very popular in Japan. And uh, it got so popular, however, that um, they stopped using the D&D system and made their own books wow. so that you could play in this world of uh, Record of Lodos War. Um, now, the, the series, now, the, uh, when I say Record of Lodos War, I'm talking m mainly about the first one that I saw, which is the 12-episode the OVA, which debuted in America, I believe, in the 90s on the sci-fi yeah. sci channel. Um, when they had their whole little anime block on Saturday mornings. 
Um, but that's how I first saw it. Hey, that's when I first saw it. Yeah, yeah and uh, afterwards, when, once I could, I, I got the complete box. I got one like one of those old box sets, though. It's like on DVD. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it doesn't have that much more time to last. Um, but it is available on Blu-ray with the both two series, I believe, which is that one, and then the uh, the um, I forgot what the other one was called. But it, it's it's on DVD. You can probably find them on Amazon or something like that. And you can find the original novel on uh, anywhere where they sell books, or you can order it. It's really nice. Can we order that stuff? I don't know if that's still available. Okay. You mean at the store? The the book. Yeah. Could we order the book? If it's available, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Maybe you can ask and they can order the book for you. Um, I just find it interesting how this series kind of came into existence, right. right? Like, you hear you have this game in the 80s, right? Which, what, the heyday was, what, the 70s and 80s yeah. of this game, right? Mostly yeah, the 80s, really I'd 90s say. Too. Right. And But it was so niche, Right, like nobody was really like besides the Satanic Panic, no one was really talking about D and D. Right, nobody was really talking about D and D. Um, And here you go with this replay, this transcript of what's going on in someone's campaign that got so popular that they created something from it that could actually that is actually very good that still holds up even now, still looks beautiful even now. Uh, I like I said, I, I usually watch it at least once a year. I just pop it. I just pop that bad boy right in. Twelve episodes. You don't need any more, right? Than than twelve episodes. I don't need a hundred and nineteen episodes <laughs> uh, of Record of Lodos War. I don't need a hundred. Listen, I don't need a hundred and nineteen episodes of anything. One Piece. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's a lot. One Piece is a lot. Um, but I. <sighs> I cannot. I, I just. I cannot stop gushing about this. Sh- this show. It's very good. Like I said, it is available. Uh, it has been re released, so you can totally find it, like on Amazon or something. Um, but I do highly recommend that you check it out. Um, and then uh, here's a here's a <laughs> here's a bit of trivia for you. Um, everybody, including myself, is very much in love with the character of Deedlet, who is the high elf in the show. Um, I don't know how many people this is going to affect, but De- the, the character of Deedlet was played by a science fiction novelist, Hiroshi Yamamoto, who was a friend of Ryo Mizuno. He played yeah. Deedlet. I don't know how many people that's going to bother. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't because you're, it's a character, but I thought that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was just like, who played Deedlet? That's so interesting. Did they just add her? Nope. Nope. Somebody yeah. played her. Played Somebody her. played her. And that's great. That's awesome. Um. Anyway, yeah, early '80s anime. It looks great. Uh, I highly recommend that you watch it if you can, and just let me know what you think about it uh, in the comments or if you've watched any of the other series. I, I haven't watched the other two series, unfortunately. I, the only thing I I own is the OVA, and that's really all I've watched is the OVA. Um, but to me, that's enough. I don't really need to see the other ones. I'll, but I'll, I'll check the other ones out. But if you have any. Uh, if you have any comments about it, if you, did you like it, did you hate it, just let me know. Um, also, if you could do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button, or dislike and subscribe, or just dislike. Even, is there a dislike anymore? Yes, but they don't tell you how many dislikes you have. Oh, is that what it or is? Or they don't show people how many dislikes you have. Uh, you still get to know how many people hate you. Okay. But they, people don't get to see how many people hate you, which I don't know what the point of that was. I'm not a an online person, so... I couldn't really tell you, but anyway, uh, yeah, Record of Lodos War, if you can, check it out, read the book, the book is great too, Uh, and let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.